What's up YouTube? Welcome to Bible Wisdom. Excuse me. Um today is Thursday. It's about um a little bit 20 minutes after 4. Um you know, I wanted to share a little bit more about my testimony. You know, this won't be a super long video, you know, um I gave a lot about my testimony yesterday. But um I also just wanted to say that, you know, I had been, you know, just in a depraved state of mind and, you know, it took me a while to even see that um, I needed to change, you know, and you probably have a similar story if you're a Christian that, um, you know, I just couldn't see how much I needed Christ in my life, you know. And I wasn't seriously taking Christ seriously. Uh, I guess I said seriously twice, but <laughs> I wasn't taking Christ seriously. Um, you know, I wasn't. Um, I wasn't uh, just doing what the Bible said. You know, um, and then even for a while, it was a little bit of legalism. You know, um, just trying to. And no one can keep the six hundred and thirteen commands. But, you know, just trying to follow after those commands in a way of uh, earning salvation. Now, I have a few other videos talking about how we should, you know, study the Old Testament, you know, study those books of the Bible, you know, but, um, you know, all scriptures God breathed. But um, the way that I was doing it wasn't fully having faith in Christ. And so even today, fast forward to today, you know, um, I just been working on myself uh, as in um, not being focused on myself, but, uh, you know, allowing Christ to change me, um, trying to what we have to do, even though we are saved, once we come to Christ, we have to accept Christ's invitation into our life. We have to accept it and conform to the mold that he has set up for us. And so for a while, you know, I just wasn't able to, uh, you know, fully see, you know, I have been, you know, just uh, doing different things that were ungodly. You know, um, I left home for a while. And, um, not that I, you know, I didn't always, I haven't always lived with my parents, but, you know, I've lived on my own for a while. And anyway, during those times, you know, um, just kind of distant from God, you know, um, and like I said in my video yesterday, there's a way that you can kind of search for God a little bit, but you're still, um, not fully, living in a right life what it's called is being a carnal christian and i've been like that where you know there's carnality that i'm living in what is carnality carnality is a worldly christian so um you you your flesh you're living by the flesh so um whether that be what the flesh produces which i've made a video on about um what your flesh produces but basically just it produces ungodly actions and for a while i was angry or just bitter and today you know through christ he has just healed my mind he's healed my um my spiritual man in that he has given me more life and, you know, I truly believe that we have an abundant life, you know, and it, it's also a process that, you know, I don't have everything that I, I am going to get right now, necessarily like uh, I do have everything, but at the same time, there's still things I'm working towards as well. But, um, you know, just being sober, you know, is is one great thing. You know, I don't necessarily make the same choices as I used to as far as, you know, 
how I'm living my life and being how I'm inviting destructive behaviors. And just recently, you know, I would say within a year or two, you know, I, I've been trying to change up the music that I listen to. You know, um, a lot of music that I used to listen to was very ungodly. Um, and it's weird because I would I couldn't see it, how it was ungodly. And so anyway, you know, I got baptized in 2017. But even after 2017, you know, I still had some mistakes that I was making. And so the, my most recent mistake was just kind of getting into arguments or dealing with anger or, um, you know, just some choosing destructive patterns. Uh, and I would say that has been in the last year um, in a, around 2019 at around 2020 and how I've changed even recently is just I've been confessing more of my sins you know that's why I, I put that out there on these videos a lot but um, I try to just definitely believe what the scripture says that if we confess our sins God is faithful and just to forgive us our sins and then he also cleanses us from all unrighteousness. And so I feel like that was a big staple for me is that, um, you know, I was able to voice how I've been wrong. And then the other things that I've been doing is just trying to learn more about certain areas that I feel like I'm having trouble with. Um, you know, I've been having trouble in some relationships, romantic relationships, and, you know, I've been getting smarter about that in those areas. And then, like I said, you know, sometimes I had, um, dealt with other destructive patterns in my life that, you know, God has been able to slowly but surely, you know, and it's been quick too work a new mindset you know I feel like God has really been renewing my mind in order so I can think more heavenly you know I truly believe there is a God that is righteous that is holy and he wants me to be holy and righteous and you know um kind of like that Star Wars poster I picture I have right there in the back uh left of the screen where there's two choices, you know, that are presented that you have to make in life. And I'm all I'm I'm constantly just trying to choose the right way and how to live my life. So I just wanted to share another extra tidbit about my testimony today. Um, you know, today I've been just, uh, you know, going to church consistently. You know, I'm uh, just trying to live by the Holy Spirit, live by the fruit of the Spirit. And um, anyway, that's what I wanted to share for today. Hope you enjoyed this video. Um, if you would like to subscribe, you can uh, get more videos like this, Bible-based videos. I also make encouraging videos. I make uh, some teaching videos where I try to share some insight about a certain topic that's based on the Bible. And then you can also visit my website uh, w a s h y e dot com, uh, where I have more information about being a Christian and more insight about different things that I've overcome in my life. So, anyway, hope you found this video helpful. I hope you can also learn to share your testimony with someone, um, because we overcome by the blood of the Lamb and by the word of our testimony. So, um, thanks. See ya.